Percy, come get. Yeah. Sit and look at the king. Okay. Okay. Turn your back on me. Okay. Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road, Road Trip. Trip. Happy birthday, Mom, from me and Lando here at the island. I wish we could be there with you celebrating, but I know you're probably having an amazing time anyways. And I just wanted to say thank you for uh, always being such an amazing adventurer and uh, supportive mom. And uh, I love you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Great, Lando. You too. Happy, happy birthday, Mom. I love you so much and miss you. I hope you're having an amazing birthday in Colorado with Dad. Um, I love you so much and I'm so incredibly thankful for everything you've done and everything you continue to do for myself and our family. And I'm more <laughs> thankful than words can ever possibly begin to express for the example and role model you have always been to me and how you always continue to teach me new things and inspire me and always continually push me to try new things and get out of my comfort zone. I'm so thankful for all of the incredible memories and experiences we have together and I'm excited for many more to come. I'm just so blown away and thankful for your example and inspiration that you are to me. Looking back over the past few years of traveling and living off the grid and doing all of these incredible things together and then also just from as far back as I can remember, you have always been the most inspiring person ever and it's just incredible to look back at everything you do and everything you've done and it's amazing and you are definitely the type of mom and woman that I aspire to be and I couldn't be more blessed to call you my mom and to have an example like you in my life and for everything that I've learned from you. And yeah, I just love you so much and I'm so thankful for everything. Happy birthday, Mother. Um, I hope you and Dad are having an awesome time as you travel around in the States together. As you can see, I made it back to the island. Um, it's cozy to be back and it reminds me a lot of you, obviously, and all the good times up here. And especially since we started traveling, we get to spend every single day together. So being apart is always kind of sad, but I know you and Dad are having a ton of fun and prepping for the next big adventures that we're about to go out on. And so much is going on behind the scenes with what you guys are getting ready and what's being built in the States for the next adventures. So I know that when we do all meet up back together again, we're gonna be going out on another epic trip together and I couldn't ask for more. So I hope you have a happy birthday, a wonderful time and love you. <laughs> hey guys, we're here with our friends from Lifestyle Overland, Kevin, Sarah, Caroline, and Abigail, um, which is 
well, we can't say she's the cutest because Caroline's cute, but she's, she's a, adorable. She's the cutest under 10. There you go. That's what we've been saying. Um, but we're, we just asked them if they'd take a minute and show you guys their epic new trailer. Let's, uh, let's do a little walk around. All right. Well, for starters, this is made by Expedition Trailers out of Salt Lake City. And we've been working with them for probably two or three months now, just brainstorming different ideas, test driving their other unit. And finally, as of the night before we left for the show, we got our own trailer with some bells and whistles we've been playing with. Um, I guess I'll start up front here. The whole trailer is built out of aluminum. So with the exception of the draw bar, the suspension, and the rear receiver, um, it's completely aluminum. Those components are made out of steel. Uh, so one of the things that we switched up on this trailer from the typical model is we actually deleted a spare tire. We've been carrying two spare tires around for years now, and we've only had one flat tire ever, and we were able to repair that tire. And so we decided, you know what? Let's cut down on about 130 pounds of weight. So up here on the nose, we opted to instead put two 20 pound propane tanks so that we can swap them out basically at any gas station. Obviously you get better refill if you uh, have them do it by hand, but this gives you a lot of flexibility instead of trying to fill up some sort of custom smaller size propane. And then uh, there's a little shower port right here where you can plug in. There's options to put shower tents on the nose. Loads and loads of storage, which is locked right now. So there's a pass-through storage box up here in the nose currently. No camping gear. So up here in this box we also have a 120 volt receptacle. So there's a 2000 watt inverter. So there's a receptacle here in the main cabin and also back in the kitchen, which makes it really, really handy. Um, underneath this box, there's a Truma water and uh, air heater. So keep the cabin nice and toasty with a the thermostat and on-demand hot water as well. I've got these, this is a lifesaver with a baby, let me tell you. These little blackout windows that have magnetic, uh, have magnets built into it. So you can slap those over. Make sure Abigail sleeps a little bit longer. A little snooze in. Um, What's interesting about this trailer too is there's a heat port. So with the Truma unit on the inside, if you had a rooftop tent or if you had someone out here in a awning room or anything like that, you could actually put a piece of duct here and keep the awning nice and toasty. Maybe even the uh, shower room if you needed to do some duty at uh, wee hours in the morning. Um, and then here's the, the star of the show. Miss Abigail, <laughs> under 10. Sorry, the show. Under 10. Really. Um, so, we've always wanted to sleep inside a trailer. But, it's hard to find one that has built the quality standards that we need. And, there was always a separation between a rooftop tent and the cabin down here. <laughs> so, one of the things that we requested in our unit was a pass through. So, if you want to take a look inside here, we've got a 30 by 40 opening with dual doors with the ladder as well. So, Caroline can sleep up top, have immediate access to us, um, or you know, the adults can sleep upstairs and you can put the kids down here as well. So, nice little addition. Uh, there's also a baby bed in this particular model. So, you can pull your mattress straight out of the crib at home, throw it in here and it's like she's you know, sleeping at home. Uh, the mattress is a, a memory foam mattress that can fold up into this couch format that you see right now, or you can stretch it out. Uh, one of the other big things about sleeping sides is sometimes they're not really long enough for tall folks, but I'm six foot three, and I still have about three and a half inches of space, top and bottom, so uh, perfect size for us tall folks. All right, so back here in the back is where it really starts to shine. If you've watched our channel, you know that we're no stranger to trailers with phenomenal kitchens, and this one is another exceptional uh, example of ingenuity and layout, but this thing is kind of like a transformer. We currently have our Snowmaster, uh, I think this is the 64 dual zone, and this whole slide actually fits back inside here, and the nice part is, is you can still access the fridge in either location. So if it's bad weather, you can still get stuff out of the fridge. And with this little flip down table, you have a prep surface in this format or with it on the inside. But with it expanded the way that it is now, we've also got just a huge stainless steel prep table here as well. Plenty of room for all your spices and things like that. And then immediate access to your electrical components. So we've got dual Battleborn 100 amp 
uh, batteries down here in the bottom. We've got the Red Arc Red Vision system. The VCDC charger is mounted over to the side here. So being an electrical guy, being a guy who's worked on a lot of rigs, having accessibility to things that you might want to service or check on has been, been a huge plus. And then just loads and loads of storage. And it's all laid out in a really nice format. So much so that they even inset this. So if you're prepping something on this table, you're not banging your head up against the cabinet. All these little touches are super handy. And then massive storage. So being with a 200 or a 2000 watt inverter, um, Stacy, who's the wife of the owner, would take a Instapot, set it out right here, put supper on, and the whole family would go for a hike, and then come back and supper would be ready. So lots of big storage there. And then more storage here. We've got a couple of pass-throughs. So if you're on this side cooking, you can actually grab some stuff from in here. So you're not having to pull a lot of things out of the way to get access to what you might want to cook. And then this cabinet actually has one more trick up the sleeve and there's a little port from the sleeping area so if you need a late night snack you can just pop this little door open right here grab your chips grab whatever and you're good to go and then the utensil drawer here with a nice cutting board that fits on top of these rails too and again we haven't had time to outfit this with our gear we literally picked it up and drove to the show so. uh, over here we've got where the magic happens a Dometic uh, sink and a Dometic cooktop and again more storage for your spices and paper towels and things like that. I mean even down to the detail of this little holder so you don't come back to camp and there's you know 16 yards of paper towels strewn around camp so nice little touches there. Another thing that we requested on this was red lighting so when the bugs are bad or you just you know, don't want to disturb people around camp there's actually a switch which we Obviously, not gonna be able to show you today, but there's red lighting that will appear. It'll give you coverage over your cooking area, over your prep area, and then also all around the underside of the trailer too, so you're not stumbling around on rocks and roots. And, and then up top, we've got our. This is actually the roof nest that we've been running for several years on one of our other trailers, and um, we're going to be replacing this with something else. We haven't quite decided yet. But there's lots of options of different tents that you can put on here. You can do awnings on one side, both sides. You can do square awnings, 270 awnings. Um, so we're still in the process of finalizing what we want to do on this trailer right here. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to, to get this thing out on the trail and actually put it through its paces. And speaking of the trail, underneath is another um, piece of magic, and it is their own custom trailing arm coil spring suspension with limit straps and shocks. And this thing is probably one of the most stable trailers that we've used on trail to date. Um, it mostly due to the fact that it's a little bit wider stance, but they have really got that suspension dialed in. So we don't see a lot of bouncing around and reorganizing of the stuff that's inside the trailer that we have in the past. So um, yeah, this is the Expedition Voyager and we're super excited to get ours on the trail and start getting it dirty. All right, hope you enjoyed that walk around. Uh, so Kevin, uh, how can people get their hands or at least find out more information about one of these awesome rigs? Sure, just look up, uh, we'll give you our short link, lso.link forward slash Voyager. And we'll pop that link below so you can just click on it and go. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Hey guys, so you all know that we sleep on the Goose Gear platform and it is a comfortable bed and it's all made by Brian and his team here at Goose Gear. Um, they have configurations for all kinds of different vehicles, not just the Jeeps. 
And so I thought I'd introduce you to Brian and let, let him tell you a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, hey, thanks. I'm happy to work with you guys. You know, you guys are awesome. Love watching your channel, watching you guys run around the city and the family. And uh, yeah, so we build interior storage systems, drawers, sleep platforms, all kinds of stuff for just numerous vehicles. Uh, we cover the Jeeps, 4Runners, Tacomas. And we have our new Park Series product line also for Subarus and RAV4s. You know that we have the batteries underneath the Goose Gear, so it not only provides a sleeping platform, but there's always storage underneath. So we're utilizing it pretty good. We've got a heater under there. But it also has cabinets. Most of them have like little doors that can open and you can use it just for storing gear. But if you, if you look behind, and we'll show you this in just a second, you, you make slide outs for most configurations. Absolutely, yeah. We make drawers, we, also, we make camp kitchens, which is basically a stove and fridge slide. Uh, it's inside of a box, so it's protected. So now you can put stuff on top of your fridge, on the sides, you can mount stuff to the back and still slide your fridge out like a drawer. Right, we had that in, uh, was it in uh, Worsley, for, um, before we put the extension on for many yep. years. What we loved about that compared to the other one we had, the other one we'd pull the fridge out, everything would fall behind it, and then we couldn't put it back in until we cleaned up. So the Goose Gear one solves that problem. Well, let's take a look here at the Subaru setup. Yeah, so Subaru we've got, basically we got open storage cabinets, so if you just want to do simple and light, real inexpensive, you know, just put your bags, your gear inside there. And we have drawer systems. We do offer like lock and lock out pins, keep the drawer from closing and opening metal latches, slide out cutting board for food prep, all that kind of stuff. And then the unique feature of this is this is a bolt-in or a strap-in system. So you can do this and do it like a weekend warrior thing, right? Put this in your vehicle. When you're done at the end of the weekend, unstrap it, take it out, put it in the garage, put it in the house, whatever, and then have your vehicle back. And the sleep platforms on this are quick disconnect. So they're not permanent. You don't have to remove the seat. You just fold the seat down, snap the piece in, put the leg under it, and then you've got your sleep platform. And you can take it right back out and get it out of the way. So real easy, real modular, gives you a lot of functionality and also some customization for how you want to use it. So as you can see, Goose Gear has a lot of solutions for a lot of different vehicles. And it's not, Brian doesn't just make stuff. He field tests it pretty hard. He's an Overlander. So when you buy Overland equipment made by Overland people, you know you're getting good stuff. And we put it through hardcore testing all these years and never had a problem. So how can people find out about your product? The best way to find us is at goose-gear.com or you can follow us at Goose Gear on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Awesome, do it. Awesome, thank you. Hey guys, we are, we just escaped the uh, show for a bit. It's Carol's birthday today, as you know. And we're out with our friends from Ozark Overland Adventures. You know them from their hello, YouTube channel. Hello. There's Kara. Matt's Matt, over there. Matt's unpacking something. I don't know. He's and I think our pals from Lifestyle yeah. Overland are yeah. coming. Kevin and Sarah. Kevin, Sarah, Caroline, and Abigail, our best new friend. And, uh, <laughs> so sweet. We're going to get something to eat and celebrate Carol's birthday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so nice. So our kids She's aren't 25. with <laughs> Our yeah. kids aren't with Again. her, but I feel like I am with other kids and family. So yes. it's it's been great. And you guys got to check them out. It's oh, a lot of fun. You. And we can't wait to hit the trails with them. Yeah. So. And we're going to come to Nice. That would be fun. You know where we live. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys after dinner. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, you've probably heard of Ozark Overland by now, but if you haven't, we're going to introduce you to Matt and Kara, our good friends. And we just had a great dinner last night for Carol's birthday. Yep. And uh, stay tuned for us hitting the trails together. Absolutely. Either in Canada or here. in your neck of the woods or out here. All the above, everywhere All between. the above, we'll build up. <laughs> but they'll just tell you a little, a little bit about themselves and how you guys can find them online. Yeah. Uh, we're Ozark Overland Adventures. We've been doing this full-time YouTube thing for a couple years now. Yep. Uh, we're based out of Arkansas, so in the Ozark National Forest is our backyard but we love going everywhere. Yeah, and our goal is also to encourage other people to get out and educate them to do that wisely. Yeah, and two years, the goal is to be traveling full time. Yep. So. Can't wait. Absolutely. So it's Ozark Overland. Adventures. Ozark Adventures Overland on Adventures YouTube. on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We actually have things. a trail in Arkansas that we've also kind of created and it's the Ozark Overland Adventure Trail and you can actually go to Facebook and we've uploaded all of the GPX files and everything. It's pretty much curated for you to go and pick a day. Yeah, you want to come check out the Ozarks, check out the Ozark Overland Adventure Trail. Yeah. All right, get on YouTube and check them out. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey guys, you probably know Mike Hernandez. We've bumped into him over the years many times and uh, he's with Fieldcraft and he's going to tell you a little bit about what they offer, but we think it's 
very important training that these guys offer. So Mike, take it away. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Mikey uh, at Footcraft Survival. I'm the Mobility and Motorsports Director. Basically, we provide modern day survival and preparedness courses. Um, we do train pretty heavy on that side. We also do a lot of stuff online. So you can see us on YouTube, on Instagram. We just launched our brand new Footcraft Survival app. So you can just search that on whatever phone that you have. But, you know, there's a lot of things that you can run into on the road. That's why we address mobility. But the best way to learn is just to go camp. So make sure you check those out. Yeah, especially if you're a family, uh, this kind of training is very important. And it gives you the peace of mind, you know, to have in your back pocket some medical training, how to use a tourniquet, how, right, to, how right. to use some of the equipment. It's, it's great to have the equipment, but equally important is knowing where it is and how to use it in an emergency. And you've seen from our channel, those things happen. We do, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put a link below for all the, the different links that might get a hold of Mikey and his team. So uh, check them out. Hey, you've seen this logo right here at the beginning of all our videos, Equipped, and this is Morgan from Equipped. And uh, they've got some awesome products that we use a lot, like the Alu Box, like the uh, National Lunar Fridge, which keeps our food. Um, they have a ton of other products as well, so uh, we're just gonna have Morgan show you around a bit, and mm -hmm. tell a bit about the company and how to get a hold of you. Sounds great. So we're here in Loveland, Colorado at the Mountain West Overland Expo. We're here representing the vendors we distribute in North America. Easy on, National Luna, Alubox, and Escape Gear. Uh, so we've got a couple different build outs here with us, a couple Tundras, uh, one of our bigger vehicles here with the Ram and the new AT Atera. And what we can accomplish is a lot of the interior, once you get there type accessories. Um, we'll get you set up with the fridge, keep your beverages cold, keep your ice cream going with a battery system, awning, solar, things like that can be easily integrated into a wide variety of vehicles. So once you're there and ready to kind of build out the interior and the creature comforts, we can help accomplish that. Yeah, I forgot to mention the Easy On. You've seen us use that off the back of our Jeep. Um, we have the fold out, uh, we call it the privacy tent. What's mm -hmm. the actual word for that one? The shower cube. Yep. Yeah, the, the shower, shower cube. cube. Largest shower cube on the market, room for two. Uh, Super easy to deploy and put away. Mm -hmm. Yep, so conveniences like that make the difference on a, a lot of our camp trips. Um, and we all have different needs and expectations. Those conveniences can be different for many of us, but ultimately we're doing the same thing. Yeah. We're trying to get out, spend some time together, see some things outdoors, get some fresh air. And um, you know, all it takes is a couple little extra devices to really improve that experience. So that's what it's all about. And Equipped is a legend in the industry and they've been around for a long time. So check them out, we'll have a link below. Hey guys, if you haven't already, you gotta check out Aaron and on Instagram he's deep snap and uh, Caroline year a couple years ago uh, put, put us on to you and you were a big inspiration to her and her film style which the audience that we're talking to most of them are pretty familiar with Caroline's film style but I wanted them to be introduced to you and maybe you can talk about the creative process and why you do what you do and and uh, why maybe it connects with so many people because he'll post a video and then hundreds of thousands in most cases millions of people love to watch it. I love filmmaking, I love photography, uh, I love just being present and um, and so you put those together and it's it's fun to be able to through film you're able to manifest a lot of weird ideas and, and things and you find people that resonate with it and over the last year or so I've found just so many people just in the comments and DMs are they don't it's not just about overlanding like yeah we like the cars we like the trucks rigs cameras and all those things but so many people don't even get five minutes or an hour by a river or something like that and so i i like to be able to share that and i just i kind of cut out a lot of the things and focused on the, the simple things and um just giving people a little bit of a, a moment uh, a piece by a river sharing the things that i get to see and that we get to see as overlanders you're just sometimes you're looking at this amazing place and you want to be able to share it with folks and you kind of just feel like it's bigger than you and so uh, it's been an honor to um, connect with a lot of folks um, just the fact that it's resonated with folks has been insane for me but uh, I love photography and filmmaking and so it's just it's a creative expression so that's been one of the things that got me into it and then now I'm just trying to do a lot of uh, things to help others uh, be able to experience some of these little moments and find ways to nudge them along and, and get out there in the in the most minimal ways but just it doesn't have to be anything crazy I, anywhere it's like those cool corona commercials find your beach like for me it was my grandma's pond and so just sitting on the water and just you know taking a moment watching the sunset so 
uh, that's kind of the gist for me. It's just I love music, I love scenery, I love coffee, and I like putting them together for these little moments. Definitely check them out. We'll put a link below. And like like you said, you know, it's sometimes 30 seconds to a minute long, or or even shorter. But it gives people, I think, and you will experience just a, a minute or a half a minute out of the chaos of normal day life and enjoy some epic scenery and some very very creative. Um, content creation. So, thanks a lot, Aaron. Yeah, thank y'all. I want to introduce you to Patty, and this what you're going to hear is the greatest story you've never heard. We were introduced to this story a while ago, and we thought, man, this is amazing. Behind me, we're going to show you this incredible classic Jeep, and uh, they did something that's really impossible. So, Patty, tell us a bit about it. It's easier to start at the beginning to a degree. My husband's goal or dream was to take one American-made vehicle around the world on a north-south course, from Rhodes End, North America, to Rhodes End, South America, Rhodes End, South Africa, to Rhodes End, Europe. There's a land route the entire distance, both continents, all four continents. The only problem is between Panama and Colombia, there's an area known as the Darien Gap, El Tapón de Darien, the stopper. There's been a handful of expeditions, vehicle expeditions through this area. They've all resorted to traveling a great distance, sometimes only a few miles, 10, 15 miles, up to 200 miles by boat. We didn't. This vehicle has a Guinness Book of Record for the first all land crossing of the Darien Gap by vehicle, all on land. We crossed rivers, but never traveled up or down. A total of 741 days to go 125 miles from the end of the road at Yavisa, Panama, to the beginning of a road in Rio Sucio, Colombia. For more information and the highlights of the story, because by no means it is the full story, you can go to our website, which is at www.outbackofbeyond.com. And I'm in on Instagram now, and that's at Sandship Discovery, all one word. Um, my email's on the website, so email me. I'm looking for a home for the Jeep, so if any of you have a, a museum out there that would like to have a Jeep and tell her story, she's looking for a home. I don't want her put in somewhere and six months later they sell her for parts or someone rips her down for a buggy. She's got a Guinness Book of Record. Hope you enjoyed that story. There's a lot more to it. We could probably do an hour. We could dedicate an entire episode to the story, and maybe we will someday. But in the meantime, uh, we'll put a link to the website below and thank you so much. All right, thank you very much. Awesome. I really appreciate it and I enjoy meeting both of you Likewise. and I love your story. Hey guys, I'm with Andy, our new friend from Yorkshire in England and he's traveling the world and we're in the middle of a rainstorm so we're gonna be quick but let, we'll let Andy tell you a bit about what he's doing over the next, what, five years? Five years, five yeah. Years. yeah. Hi, away. I'm Andy, I'm from the UK and I'm driving around the world in my old Land Rover that's done 295,000 miles doing a 150,000 mile round trip. What could possibly go wrong? In an old Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so you're re documenting your trip as you go? Yeah. And, and sharing it on, online? Yeah, yeah, I'm documenting my, my trip uh, and you can find me on Instagram on LandyAndy 4x4 and YouTube on LandyAndy 4x4. And we'll make sure to put links down there so you can follow along. It's an amazing journey ahead. Can't you're, wait. You're heading down the Americas. Yeah, Pan American Highway to Ushuaia, yep. uh, then up to Brazil, and then from Brazil to Australia, Japan, South Korea, Russia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, down the east coast of Africa, around the west coast. <laughs> get home, get bored, and want to go out. So and get, and get back on the road. Yeah, That's no what you worries. call overland, and this guy's the real thing, so make sure you follow along. All right, thanks, Andy. Ciao very much. Thanks very much. Yeah. Lovely. We'll see you down the road. Yeah, see ya. All right, guys, that's a wrap of a busy but wonderful show. Met so many incredible people, and uh, thanks to everyone who came by and said hi. We really enjoyed meeting you, and uh, we've got some really neat interviews. Hopefully, they turned out because we had a lot of wind and lightning and rain here in the last few minutes. But uh, yeah, we're uh, going to carry on down the road now. Kevin and Sarah from Lifestyle Overland 
have an Airbnb in town and they've invited us to shelter from the storm and hang out for a bit, play with the kids and just have a good time. And then tomorrow they're heading back to Utah and we're gonna start working our way back to uh, the coast. So lots of awesome adventures ahead. If you've watched any of the Expedition Overland series recently, you would be familiar with Tanner. Tanner has been on several expeditions with the kids and is an accomplished photographer, videographer, and mechanic at XO. He and his family have become good friends of ours over the years, and today we are meeting his parents for the first time here in beautiful Wyoming. Hi. Hello, how are you? You're good to, I'll just nice. give you a hug. <laughs> Yeah, yeah likewise. Hey, you, you smell you Lando? Lando? Put it on the outside. <laughs> Hi, oh, Josie, Josie, don't jump. Josie. Oh, happy yeah. to see us. Hi, Josie. Oh, hi. Hi, hi my lady. All right. Here. <laughs> Enjoying a meal together and walking around this beautiful home on the range is fascinating. The fuel pump and the filter and the car. <laughs> you know, now they set the they have to take half the engine apart to get yeah, to them. You have to have a computer to hook them. Right. This is why it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cut, cut the logs and skid them and haul them home. And oh. ram the Thank you, Kim and Eileen Johnson, for your hospitality and friendship. We truly enjoyed seeing Tanner's childhood home, the airplane he built in his early teens. a lifetime collection of memories, antiquities, and meticulously restored vehicles. Mm -hmm. And you put white gas in here, and you lit it right here, you can adjust it, this adjustment here. And beautiful gardens, each with special meaning and memories. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My favorite thing is to find stumps like this that have holes in them. Over the past seven years of full-time overlanding and off-grid living, we have been blessed to meet so many fascinating people. And with each passing day, it becomes more clear to us that the true joy of overland travel lies not in the places we go or the wilderness trails we traverse, but in the people we meet and the lifelong friendships we forge along the way.
Super Hurricane 6. They call it. Oh, okay. It's the big horsepower. I think it's right at 70. Well, where the little, the little one in here is, I think it's 45. Or yeah, they have the full The you know the, a lot of these old jeeps, the bed is all bent up because it just melts up, and then this comes up, oh, and then that goes down, and that was the only storage is right there. <laughs> Oh wow. And another great idea that they had. This is how you adjust the seat. Oh. Oh yeah. Right. If you have that up, it goes back further. If this is for shorter shorter people comes, to reach the oh, pedal. I see. Okay. Keeps the seat out. Oh, it's pretty high tech. If you, yeah. <laughs> then that's on it. Make it work, but I'd want a bit more leg room. <laughs> honk, honk the horn in the middle. You gotta push on it pretty hard. Oh. Wait, the date. Yeah. We get to take this out. Pete's gonna try and get his knee in place. She's a little tight for, uh, <laughs> for my so. long legs, but let's go for a little ride. Oh. <laughs> Come on, <Vincent>. There we <laughs> go. There we go. <laughs> oh, they're the best. I can't believe they're letting us do this. <laughs> what a blast. Oh, go? this is beautiful. <laughs> wow, so what year is this again? Whoops, 53. A 53 Jeep truck, and we're driving their ranch with their beautiful dog. Careful, doggy. Yeah. Oh, this is a dream come true. Look at this. Josie, you're scaring me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Before saying goodbye and carrying on on our journey, we take a drive up to the top of Jelves Mountain at 9,656 feet of elevation to enjoy a panoramic view of the surrounding area. And, of course, to glass for elk antlers. Good morning guys, we had an awesome sleep at the Johnson Ranch here in outside of Laramie, Laramie of Wyoming. And today we're, they're taking us up, Ooh, winded in the elevation. Uh, they're taking us up a local mountain called Jelm, I think Jelm Mountain. And uh, we're just hiking around, Carol's doing some shed hunting as she likes to do. And Tanner's dad, He's a shed hunter himself, so they're enjoying looking around. Um, we're about halfway up. We're going to carry on to the top, and I'll show you the view. It's just a gorgeous place out here. Yes, I always have room for a rock. rock. <laughs> oh. So could you take that one back yes. and have it at your sure. cabin? Uh, I have Logan's. a perfect spot for my garden. Okay. That's perfect. Oh, and it means She's a lot coming from you. Oh, thank that's, you. That's cool. I <laughs> yeah, I like it. She doesn't give those away very often. No, like 
Thank this you. This is the second time. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. Aww. That's that means a so lot. Sweet. That's awesome. Wonderful. Yeah, for us, I mean, we have all the rocks, but the funny thing uh -huh. is we can do what you do and go around and each one has a meaning pretty yeah. much. Oh, yeah, I can walk yeah. around the whole so, cabin and mm. point out certain heart rocks. rocks. from our friends in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That was so much fun. Well, can't tell you all about it right now, but we will be talking about this visit for a long time. Wonderful people. Tanner, now we know where you get it. You mm -hmm. come from good stock, my man. Bye. Thank you. Love you guys. All right, we're up in uh, Rabbit Ears Pass in Colorado, just before coming down into Steamboat Springs. We'll probably do that tomorrow. We just we saw a trail going up, so we're gonna look for a camp spot, but I'm just going to pump up the airbags on the trailer to get a bit, of, a bit more ground clearance. Meantime, we'll, we'll see, see you down, down the road. road. <laughs> nice, we did it. <laughs> Hi, Joseph.